capitalist carbon capture could kill us all. Carbon capture is akin to reversing the process of burning fossil fuels, which takes electricity. We burn fossil fuels to meet electricity demands over what green energy produces. Since engines are not 100% efficient, carbon capture is net positive CO2 while consuming other resources. The non-electric option of burying plants is stripping the soil of nutrients and leaving it for dead. CO2 is only part of the environmental collapse. Capitalists have reasons to force carbon capture, though. First, net positive CO2 means an infinite resource sink, and so infinite expansion. Mining is devastating and could go towards green energy. Second, even the idea of putting the environment's life support into a few mega-facilities is great for mutually assured destruction, making resistance near impossible. Third, acknowledging that a problem exists, especially one that can't be solved by the infinite expansion that caused it, would be a huge blow to capitalist propaganda. Resisting this is not simple, as it is large-scale state action. Luckily, we are at the prevention stage, which means we need to convince the state not to try. They don't care about public opinion, but they do care about direct local resistance. The fighting against Cop City in the US is a great example. There is little organized for this, but we do have time. The first step is starting a conversation. Say you think it is dangerous and find who agrees. Then do some simple activism together to create a connection and see where it goes. Action as small as making posters saying somebody is willing to resist it goes a long way. Finally, look into degrowth as a topic. That is how we handle the environmental crisis. Resistance requires a sustainable network to maintain it.